Hello, hello my beautiful friends. How are you doing today? It's Farah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very special one because I am celebrating reaching over 2,000 subscribers here on my channel and it's such a huge, huge milestone for me. So I wanted to do a Q&A. So before I begin the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. It just means so much that you subscribe to my channel and uh, watch my content and I just love YouTube. I love this community. Um, I've met such lovely, wonderful people here. So as you guys know, this is a very, very special milestone for me. Those of you who have sent in questions, thank you so, so much. And this um, November, I didn't want to do a favorites because literally you guys are my favorites. So jump right into this Q&A because we have a lot of questions to get through. So my first question is from Katarina Getty. She says, your videos look very professional. I saw that you use a Canon 60D. Are you satisfied? I have a Canon 600D and I don't like it. Please give me some tips if you know kisses. Kisses to you, girl. Thank you for your question. Um, honestly, I've made peace with my camera. I know a lot of people like to upgrade to a 70D when and if they get a chance, but um, I've played a lot with my settings. One of the biggest tips I can give you is about lighting, which has taken my quality f from two different levels. There's also camera setup. Um, what modes you have to keep it on, what modes I prefer to keep it on to create a nice light and of course there's sound I invested in a mic recently, a Rode mic and it's taken my videos up to another level and so there's those kind of things you can do if you want a more in-depth video uh, let me know in the comments below guys and I will definitely make one for you all right, so the next question I have is um, from the citizen of the EU. It's another lovely girl here living in Paris. And um, I will link all of these channels down below in the description box. So if you want to check out my friends on here, I would really love that. Hey Farah, during the meetup you told me that you're from Thailand. Hey girl. <laughs> and um, you lived in Hong Kong if I remember correctly, but your name sounds rather Arab. So do you have family from there? So let's address the first question. The first question, um, I didn't live in Hong Kong. Um, I think I said I lived in Doha for a while. I lived in Thailand and then India, Doha, and then back to, to Bangkok and then in Paris. So yeah, and do, my name does sound Arab because it's actually Persian. I was named after the princess of Iran, Farah Diba, and so it's a, it's a Persian name. But do I have any family from there? I am not Arab at all. <laughs> this was actually asked in a later question. Stay tuned to find out where I'm from. So my next question is from Kitty Cat Loves Makeup, and she asks, what is your favorite place to go on vacation? My favorite place to go, oh, sorry for the interruption. My favorite place to go on vacation is this island, this gorgeous island in Thailand is called Gok Dao Turtle Island and um, I actually have vlogs on this channel about that island because I just needed to document it. It is a gorgeous island and there are lots of islands in Thailand but what sets this one apart is its pristine sandy uh, beaches and the beautiful beautiful sea and the fact that it's touristy, but it still has local. It's a medium between the both. It gives such good island vibes. Yeah, I don't know. If you want to see more, check out the vlogs that I have here on this channel, but that's definitely, or used to be my favorite vacation. As for in Europe, I don't think I've explored enough to make a decision. It might change, so, but for now, yeah, that's my answer. Thank you so much for the question, girl. Question is by Michaela Davis. She asks, what is your favorite food? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna blow past it. Uh, she asks, what's my favorite food? I am really craving Thai food right now. I haven't 
had Thai food in over four months and um, I mean proper authentic authentic real Thai food I'm just craving it so much um, so what comes to mind is tha all Thai food but honestly my favorite food and then the dish which is really rare is um, Pakistani food in Pakistani food there's this dish called katakat and it's similar to the Scot Scottish haggas it's all the in insides of um, the animal cut up and it's made with the Pakistani spices it's so delicious it's spicy and it's delicious you eat it with a warm naan bread oh it's just it's divine it's so good I love that food and Pakistani food around the world is super rare my next question is from Makeup Vana and she says hi gorgeous hey my question is where you're from, where are you from, how old are you, and what do you do for a living? I asked you to stay tuned for the question of where I'm from. I am actually, I'm from Thailand. I grew up there, I grew up in Bangkok, but I am uh, half Pakistani, Indian, and I have European uh, Jewish roots. So it's a very hum a very mixed background and a very culturally, I, I forget the word which you call people like us. Um, I'm definitely a third culture kid because I have so many cultures within my background and plus my upbringing um, in international school. So it's complicated when people ask me where I'm from. I say Thailand, but I'm not, I'm Thai, but I'm not Thai. So. Yeah, I am 31 years old, yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, right now I'm studying personal fashion styling at the London College of Style. Um, I absolutely love it. I, so I want to have a career in fashion. I want to be a stylist, either editorial styling, so fashion styling or personal styling, both if I can, and yeah, so that's my career path um, I'm just sorting out I have to sort out all my papers here uh, get my degree and then let's see so thank you for the question girl the next question is from one of my favorite people here on YouTube it's from Sean's world why are you so beautiful <laughs> oh girl why are you so beautiful? Now she says, seriously, here's my question. Where do you see your channel in the future? Any plans or goals? Uh, goals for my channel. Um, I obviously, I love doing YouTube, so I want to keep going. I want to see my channel grow and my community come together. Uh, any solid goals? I I don't know, it's hard to say. Uh, for, for my channel, I'm just working to improve my content, to improve my channel all the time, the um, paying attention to SEO and quality of content and I think as I'm more here on YouTube all those things are really important and so that's what I'm doing. As for a career, I definitely want, as I said, to be a personal fashion stylist. I So personal styling, if you didn't know, is I help everyday women like you and me so it doesn't have to be celebrities it just has to be if you just want like a wardrobe uh, uh, can't talk if you want say like a wardrobe consultation or you have an event coming up and you want to know um, you want some options of what you can wear or you want to improve your work wardrobe all those kind of things uh, that's where a personal stylist comes in where we analyze your body shape um, your complexion we color color match you to clothes we do a color analysis and um, it's all these kind of technical things which will actually um, help you to define your personal style better and if you don't think you have one perhaps even discover your personal style so I would absolutely love to offer my services on my platform here and just as a consulting business as well as work on photo shoots and stuff like that as a stylist. I would love that. So those are some of my goals. 
things keep changing and evolving but those are good for now so thank you shauna for that super super sweet question mm -hmm.